Police Headquarters has become a memorial for Officer Talley. You can see it, they're covered in flowers today. The memorial outside the King Superstore has grown as well. People have been dropping flowers off throughout the day. We saw the governor there at one point. Denver 7 remains committed to telling the victims stories. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen leads our team coverage this evening. Jacqueline. Shannon and I've talked to so many friends, family, even acquaintances who are just grieving right now. A lot of people are coming here. You can see that the crowd just keeps getting larger and larger. Some people are staying home. Everyone is mourning in their own way. And they all tell me the same thing. The ripple effects from the 10 lives lost are spreading all over the world. So many people know Lana from her amazing store, Umba. Nothing could feel more like Boulder. It's such a delightful place. Than this store, a quiet memorial now growing outside. It's a store with a mission to create community. The festival community is mourning the loss of one of its brightest Boulder stars, Lana Bartkowiak, who founded the art and clothing store Umba just off the Pearl Street Mall. Her brother telling the New York Times she had just gotten engaged. I also not only would see Lana at her store Umba, but at different festivals like Arise and Envision Festival. She would have the most amazing booths that were a place of comfort and uh, sanctity and um, serenity. Lana was one of the kindest people you'd ever meet. She was jovial, good-hearted, good-natured, beloved by everyone. It quickly becomes clear at the King Supers Memorial, the 10 lives lost touched so many others. Not only did Stephen Vey come into contact with Kevin Mahoney. I volunteer at Meals on Wheels in Boulder. So I, I prep all the meals for the drivers and he was a substitute driver. He also immediately recognized Terry Liker among the victims. When you go shopping and see the same people, uh, they become somewhat of your, uh, well, they are part of your community. Well, I was afraid to see any face that I knew. Uh, when I saw her face, it's not, you can't put it in words. It's, 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 it's tough. It's, uh, it's tough on anyone. It doesn't have to be a relative or a family or we're all family. We're all we're all brothers and sisters. And a few friends and family members that we have spoke to, spoken to actually know more than one of the people involved here, which exemplifies the ties that bind us all. As one of Lana's friends put it to me, we hope to see them again in the worlds after this. Reporting live in Boulder, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.